Hey everybody. Um, I thought I'd talk a little bit about intervals and shapes. I get a lot of questions about um, how to use shapes and intervals, you know, different kinds of intervals while you're soloing. Um, I first got into shapes by experimenting with playing the major scale in different ways. First regular, then in thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, all the way up. Um, and then I started getting curious about just repeating shapes regardless of any tonality or anything like that. One shape I've found to be very helpful is fifths, uh, especially on an extended range bass of any kind. It gives you kind of an easy way to get from low to high, um, break up a line in an interesting way. And I discovered a few interesting things about fifths. <clears throat> so let's say if we start on a... Uh, well, I'll start on a C on my E string. Now, if I just play nothing but fifths, I get G, D, it's the 9, A, which is the 11th or 6th of the scale, and then the major third there. So I started ex experimenting with um, different spreads on the bass. So, say if I did fifths over three strings, I get 1, 5, 9 over four strings, I do it in C. I get 1, 5, 9, 11, 5 strings again, up to the major third, 6 string, actually may end on a high B, I end on the major 7. <clears throat> so you can actually repeat fifths and stay within the tonality, all the notes will work. Um, interesting technique if you want to switch, say all those were major thirds, major 7th, if you want to switch to minor found a nice way to do it. Start on C. Now at this point we're on the 9, we're only a half step from the minor 3rd, so if we then slide up a half step to the minor 3rd, then we play minor 3rd, flat 7, and then the 11th of the chord. So, a couple of interesting ideas, say for major, minor. Now it's also a lot of work on your right hand to get all that in. Um, so another interesting thing I added to it was the use of open strings, which breaks up the, the harmony in interesting ways, kind of breaks up the line, makes it sound a little more interesting, but it also gives you time to shift your hand. So instead of trying to play straight, I might, one thing that felt natural to me, there might be other ways that feel more natural to you guys. Um, sounds way harder than it is. Um, and again, if I wanted to make that minor, so that's something, a little food for thought. You can also uh, throw a little double plugs in. Takes a little, you know, right hand dexterity, but uh, you work on this stuff, you get it eventually. You can also take that fifth pattern, say this, this spread of the, of the ninth, one by nine, and move that around and get some interesting lines as well. Um, another interesting thing that I've, uh, well, it's something that works for me, uh, when you start a line like that, the, most, the two most important things are where you start from and where you end up. So I've started to pay more attention to where I'm going to land than I do where I start from. So I get, I work out all this stuff where I think, okay, five string pattern starting from C lands me on the major third. So I actually think more of where do I want to start to land on this note. So I might even start on a completely different chord but plan on landing on a new chord change on a specific chord tone or the root. Uh, I find this is useful for any kind of pattern playing, thinking of where you want to wind up. Um, same thing with fourths. I have a pattern that I like with four 
chords. And I'm, I'm never thinking about where I'm starting. I'm thinking about where I end up. If I'm in A minor, and I want to land on that minor third, I'll start here, which happens to be E, because I know I'll land on the minor third of A. And then I can play an A minor. To kind of bring it home and solidify the harmony again. So experiment with that stuff. Experiment with fifths. Any interval, really. Sixth. And the main, especially with patterns, they're symmetrical. So even if they stretch outside of the harmony, our, our brains accept them as, as functioning in one way or another. Um, so the most important thing to remember is to land somewhere strong. And if you can end it with some kind of cool bluesy lick to kind of bring, bring our, our Western ears back, back home and make us comfortable, um, that's, a, that's a bonus. So cool, experiment with that. Leave me comments, let me know what you think, if you have any questions, and I'll start trying to post more videos. Thanks.